top three of any era. Right. If you put them in, if you talking about niggas from the 80s on back, them niggas still in my top three. If you talking about 90s on That's back. That's how I feel about them niggas Jay. niggas in my top three. You talking like about 2000s Jay, on back. Jay is like the LeBron of it. The way I like your 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 uh, perception of Drake it taking it like yeah. how LeBron, right. but the, uh, on the turn flip of it, Jay is like the LeBron of it because he's the older nigga that you talking still about right going, yeah. that's still doing it, still breaking every time, still breaking new shit down the pipe. When I saw that Grammy performance, bro. And I heard them folks paid them folks to not go to commercial so they could do that whole eight minute, nine minute song. And to see that nigga had knowing he got a four and a half minute, five minute long verse, and he'll rap that whole line and not miss one line, didn't fuck up on a syllable. Now some niggas will take the mic see, away. See, I be hearing folks on um, like like a lot of folks told me that like they get niggas props for that. But to me as a rapper, like that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So it's like this like me telling a nigga. Which I have told a nigga that I'm proud of you for getting you a new house, a new car, right, 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 taking right. care of your business. But like that's what he supposed to do. He supposed to get up right, there right. and take care of his business. He been doing it that long. And then, that, all, then me, all the other niggas we mentioned, even are, though are I know signed a lot under of him, <laughs> I know, know a lot saying? of niggas. I know a lot of niggas can't get on stage and rap they shit. Correct. And to me, that takes away from it. Yeah. But I don't think Moves getting up there. Slider down a little bit. Cause somebody else gave Jada Kid. They were like when he did the verses. They were like he was up there spitting yeah, and killing one niggas. Of the niggas to me too though. He was he in my top ten. He was up there. Like how I be looking at, I feel like I can compete with all them niggas. Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, once again, if so I feel like, like you put a nigga in that round, I feel like I can yeah, compete with them niggas. Yeah. Like, like um, when you know, I feel like niggas won't see me in that light until I get until in that light. Get to that light. Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. this, how it is with me. I feel like any nigga I can do a song with, I'm not gonna get murdered. I could have been on that God did jump. Yeah, yeah. With yeah, yeah, and turned up. Yeah, Jason that's how I always felt that half shit. And yeah. let me get the other two minutes and I would have snapped. That might be right. Oh, you could have made it. Wayne sure. would have said, nah, you could have yeah. gave me his. Yeah, I could have yeah, yeah, And yeah, they yeah. wouldn't have been tripping. Yeah, that's I how feel I feel about it. Because yeah, like, I feel like I'm Goku with this shit. Like, <laughs> even if I ain't on this level, like, I'm finna get a sensu bean and, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? And go God, man. Listen. I don't want to sound old. I don't know what the fuck a sensu being is, uh, but I, ain't that the shit to make them niggas power up or something? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When they get weak, when the nigga ain't on their ass, they got to power up. Sensu be. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about for real. That shit, man, I missed that whole generation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm damn a decade ahead of you. You know what I'm now, saying? Now, you still like, can catch it, though. They got, this just, shit they got this shit. But I'm just saying, they though, got like, new dragon balls I was running around the country. By the time I was 18, 19, right. I was in New York and L.A. And, right. and by the 21, I had kids. So I, I, I'm, I, I, had I, was, born, at 17. I was born in 80. By 21, I was going around the go. Yeah, see, I was born in 80, so all my years are even. So in right. 2001, 2002, 2002, when I had my first kid, I'm 22. And I'm still running right. around the country. Right. Now I'm giving them rugrats and shit. Right. Whatever was on Nickelodeon. Right. I, I saw all that shit watching them watch it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's crazy. So let me ask you this. Well, how in the fuck, what made you, uh, well, what's your, what, how did you get involved with the with the battle rap and shit? Um, how I got involved with the battle rap yeah. shit, I wasn't even battling, I wasn't even battling. I went to uh, support my nigga. Yeah. And, um, they saw that shit and, say, and I, I seen shit. all the hate my nigga was getting, cause, um, and it wasn't that he was getting hate, it was just that, them other niggas had battle rap clicks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so I was like, man, I gotta I gotta step in. Uh, let my nigga have some niggas in here who gonna have his back. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? While yeah. he battle rapping and and um I just I, and I already felt like I was the truth. I had never battle rap, but yeah. I was like, I can do this shit. Yeah. But it was different when I got on stage, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, how different is that shit? Uh, it's, it's I'm like, from and I'm familiar to me like, it's a mindset. We battle though. rap differently back when we was doing Wing City and shit. Right. It's like nigga come up there and, and and niggas really did. Now this is when niggas started trying to sneak the fact that they had already wrote some shit. Right. It was real like nigga, I don't know, I ain't never met you. I, ain't, I don't know shit about you. We finna rap this out right now. Right. And and some niggas was good, I was dope at it. You know what nah, I'm saying? We, but the used, battle we, used was to, we used to get two, three weeks, know who we gonna battle. Mm. And it's on us if we wanna do research and write on the niggas. Mm. Like it wasn't no, you got a right for on it, one on it. Like some niggas come in and freestyle. But um, yeah, my first battle, I lost the jump. Like if I would've won, I probably wouldn't even battle no more. I would've just left on the like, yeah, on a high note, yeah. I went back to my music. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? right. But I had lost. And um, I was like, 
Man, that nigga got me fucked up, and that's when I went and started studying my English and shit. Yeah. I went and got so books. So it was at that point where yeah, you Yeah, I went and got books on this shit, like real books. Yeah, because I was going to ask, I wanted to ask books. you about that. How did you get into that? Yeah. Because that, that, that entendre thing we was talking about, that seven entendre. Yeah, that seven different things. When I heard I don't you even remember which one I did. That shit. I think I did the, um, the copyright. It may have been that I one. I think that was the copyright. Yeah, but you I got know, more than seven? You got more than one seven entendre? Um, I don't know, but I just I just know I use it. I use them a lot. <laughs> like, like you said, you got you know more than one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I'd be using them a lot. You know what I'm saying? What's the copyright one? Cause I think that I may said, be. Um, I said that nigga. Um, I said Peter Perception alone needs a copyright. See, he. I said Peter Perception alone needs a copyright. But this style, you you can't copyright. See, this nigga like to revise bars and swear all the ones he copyright. But that nigga also bad bar and swear all the ones he copyright. Nah, I said, that nigga like to, I said, that nigga, that nigga, I said, I don't even remember. I said, that nigga like to revise bars and that's a copyright, but that nigga also bad bars and he swear all the ones he copyright, but he snitch like the laws. So he think just because he a copyright and thinking the copyright, if I see his BM, I get ass cap. And ain't that the companies where you copyright? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that yeah, had to be yeah, the judge yeah, that you did. Like Bro, I'm, I'm just saying though, like niggas, once again, niggas don't write and you accredit that into getting into English. And right. I remember hearing you yeah. saying right. that you started studying the syllables and different, right. yeah. you know, rhymes. Like just looking at words and... different. Like if I see the word cowboy, it's like right there. Mm -hmm. There's already two words in it, right. you know what I'm saying? Cow and boy. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Then I start looking at like, okay, the lettering. Okay, if I could flip it, could I say it backwards? You know what I'm saying? It, like that's, so like that's how, you know what I'm saying? When I get to the breaking down the words, right, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Like Dallas, that, Dallas, the last, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas <laughs> start breaking it down like, okay, the last cowboy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, like it depends on how, how, the, how the sentence gonna fall after that. You right. know what I'm saying? Which will make the word, which I'll probably go into more wordplay with the, you know what I'm saying, the Western, uh, you know what I'm saying? To, to yeah. make it bring a hole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So but, th these niggas can't fuck with you on that shit, though, right. bro. I didn't see like watching the battles. It's, a lot of them niggas is dope. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, a lot they, of niggas come. A lot of dope ass right. I just think, I just think like, Niggas ain't on my level of copy, uh, not copyright, but, <laughs> but um, wordplay. <laughs> but wordplay. But there's some niggas out there word playing though. There's some niggas out there word yeah. playing. I be hearing some niggas. I be like, damn, I ain't think of that word. Right, play. right. That right. was hard. So you still get inspired by by you know the shit that's going on in the streets, like um, not superly inspired, but it, it'll keep you in competition mode. It'll keep you saying, okay, well, shit, I'm gonna go back in and. And I'm oh, it's a lot of it's a lot of niggas made me feel like, damn, I gotta get on my shit. Yeah. Like a, like like um down there every time Don Trip drops some Tripp. new shit, he made me feel like, damn, I got I, ain't did I gotta, damn I gotta, fine. I gotta get in there. Cause he yeah. a motherfucker, like that yeah. nigga, that nigga motherfucker. But he but I feel like he not on my level with the wordplay. Okay. I feel like he above my level with the punchlines. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? He got them punchlines like um, I call them unexpected punchlines, you know what I'm saying? Because you would think a nigga going this way and he'll come left field okay. with a whole nother junk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some punchlines are predictable, but yeah. they, don't, they don't make them hard. They don't make them not hard right, right. because you can predict it. You, mm -hmm. To me, some niggas take away points if I can predict your bar. It's, you know what I'm saying? Right. To me, if I could predict your body, that means you were doing something right that kept me informed Engaged with everything where, you were doing. Yeah. yeah, so I was able to see where, where the uh, end of the tunnel. Yeah. But sometimes niggas come from left field, so I feel like like he 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 the best at that right yeah. now. Yeah. You keep up with any of the uh the battle shit, the uh, smack battles and all uh, of that shit. You ain't never tap into none of that. I mean, shit. I be watching. I don't watch them if another nigga watch them, but I ain't never just sit up and just. Right. And that was even when I was battle rapping. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to sit up and watch that shit because a nigga mm -hmm. end up mimicking. Like might sometimes, draw sometimes you might mimic what another nigga said, or you forget you watched the battle where he had this word play. And, right. You know what I'm saying? You right. say it, and now a nigga say you stealing bars, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So That's I, the same so reason just, why when I'm making music, I don't listen to other niggas' music. So I just try to stay away from that if shit. If I'm in a, making a body of work, I I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't listen to J M. Yeah, yeah. Why I don't listen to none of that right. because you will pull you from You can't that. get influenced. You can, yeah. yeah you, and, and it's cool that you get influenced. It ain't taking nothing from being influenced. Right. But I don't want to take shit that you said. I don't want right. the way you said it. I don't right. want to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, like who who are some of the uh, the, the producer niggas that you like to fuck with on the town? Um, 
Or they might not be from the town period. They might be from um, somewhere I mean, else. I don't. I don't try to fuck with a lot of niggas, man. Um, but um, on my on this project, I've been working with really like my last ten songs. I've been fucking with Zach Feezy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know who Zach Feezy. I, I didn't heard. I heard somebody speak. He um, he and then he, nigga trash. He just did some shit. He just did some shit for um Don Trip on Don Trip last year. Okay. Zach Feezy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You fuck with uh Chef. Sheffrey? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, fuck with yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I got one beat from Sheffrey. Yeah. Um, or I think I'm on one beat. I don't think I actually purchased it. I think yeah. somebody else did. Yeah. And I was featured. Nah, matter of fact, matter of fact, somebody else purchased it and they and, and somehow it ended up with me. Because yeah. they was on their um, DJ Kelly shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they done worked out somewhere, they got some beats, and then they wanted to put yeah, me, this yeah. nigga, and this nigga on the yeah, song together. Yeah, yeah. And then I ended up liking the song. I was like, let me keep that for my project. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And yeah, so and um, I don't I done dropped a couple um freestyles down there, like when I can't get in my yo, yeah. I be going down there with Chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Fucking well. Now and when you look at the state of where Memphis hip hop came from this origins, because you know, of course, you probably seen like a lot of the OGs. They come on and they tell us the stories about them creating the Memphis music scene. There wasn't one. Right. They created that. When right. you when you um, look at from where it started to where it's where it's you know where it ended up now, how do you look at that? Do you do you look? Of course, it's gotten better. Yeah, it's way better. I mean, I mean, but what corrections? If you was a the ultimate, if you own, if you was on the label that all those artists were signed, what would you change, uh, or maybe mold or alternate? Man, I feel guys? like I feel like the rate, the rate that artists, the rate of artists getting signed at the city, because because um you know not to just say nobody specifically, but um, well I can say them specifically, but like when Glow really blew up. I feel like it wasn't no reason for her friends to go sign with other people. You see what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah. Like I feel like a lot of time we 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 be down with people and not just using her, you know, cause I don't know the situation. They probably didn't want to sign with God or you know I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I see it Why in more than that situation. Yeah, I see yeah, it yeah. in more than that situation. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is a lot of time we be down with people, and they be down with us, and then we get up and then we don't get them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, like, and then sometimes, like, a lot of folks be like, "Man, it's the label," you know. I, you know, because I don't, I don't seen niggas blow up and say, "Fuck me." You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Niggas, I yeah, was down. Too. Niggas, I was down with, and yeah. I was like, if I blow, I know I was gonna come back and get you. I know I would have came back. So it's like, I, I think that's the problem. And then like, you know, it's niggas in the city who get signed, but I feel like. All the artists at the level we got, we probably be having to be five, mad. ten artists, new artists popping up every, every week. Every other week. Because because the talent is here, and these niggas know the talent is here. Yeah. You know why is you signing one artist every year? I think I you know think, what I'm uh, saying. Like how, how well, like me and Al and and, and, and me and Chet, and we had these conversations, these conversations and shit. It be because Memphis has always been a place that they came and they, you know, stick the IV in, stick the needle in, and draw out what they want from it. Take it elsewhere. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because Memphis niggas always knew the, the hustle right. and the game. Of the right. business because we but then, have that history. But then, of but, then, but then, what you just said f to let them come in, that means somebody invited them in mm -hmm. because they ain't coming here on their oh, own. Because yeah, yeah. they got to know something yeah. to, to be around in this city. Yeah. This ain't no city you can just come as a stranger and just uh, 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 get to the right people. Yeah, so not Memphis. Yeah, so it got to be somebody <laughs> in the position who cool with you coming here draining. As long as they been as long as they from, benefit from it. Yeah, as long as they been the yeah. yeah, you can come drain these niggas, take these niggas beats, take these niggas sound. Yeah. As long as you take me with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, or keep co signing. And that's what I'm shit. saying. Like a lot of us will be cool with signing and leaving our team or leaving our hood behind. Like, I mean, I you know, like I ain't in that position, so I, I really don't know, but right. I think I would be able to mm. bring a lot of niggas with me. And not just where they gotta be with me, but opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like a nigga see Atlanta. Like, nigga see Atlanta. Oh, like, them niggas, them niggas be like in the studio. It's like 900 niggas And ain't none of them niggas signed to the same label. Yeah. Ain't none of them niggas getting bread with the same. They probably getting bread amongst each other, but with these labels, and they contracts ain't together. But them niggas end up working because they want to keep Atlanta on top. And like, like, um, like how I was looking at it, like when T.I. dropped his last album, I was like, damn, he got three features. And it was Lil Baby, uh, Young Thug, and 21 Savage. And I said, guess what? 
All them is three young niggas from Atlanta who on top right now. Yeah. So guess what? Of course these niggas want to keep Atlanta on top. Because guess what? I'm big homie of Atlanta. I can come and get a little baby verse for free. Yeah. Because I'm T.I. Yeah, I'm yeah, Jesus. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. These yeah. niggas looked up to me. So if I keep these young niggas up, I'm going to forever but be it, up. But it don't happen here. Nah. Yeah. Nah, it don't happen here. Yeah, we talking about this so much. You know, much. Uh, and a lot of our OGs don't be respected by the young niggas. Yeah. The young niggas say they respect them, but you know what I'm saying? The actions don't display it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I ain't saying I ain't saying niggas gotta make friendships with niggas they want fucking with, but it's a lot of niggas who genuine, like a lot of OGs. But this who is the music with. business though. Like this is the music business. I mean, it's not the field business. Right. It's not the I'm coming in to make friends. Right. It's the it's the business. Right. But back to your point, to make to 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 accept your point of what you were saying. I mean to me, to me, why am I wouldn't be my why am I they just so tissue. Right, right. So they right, need right. tissue, they, they need yeah. clothes, they yeah, need yeah, pills, yeah. they Grocery, need candy, they need, they need milk. Yeah. They need that's the business. For that for that to run. Whether I'm rapping again, well, I can go sign this pop artist over here, this rock and roll band from down there, right. this rapper from over here. That's the business. I should want to have a lot of goddamn right. supplies right, in right, my right. store under my yeah. building. I just think cause you know, we come from uh, and, and I can have a rug store, but if I got <coughs> rugs and couches, you, yeah, you, now you, I'm you looking like, super ooh. In there. Yeah, cause it's just like, you know, for the place where we from, uh, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Georgia are 47th, 49th, well, at least a couple of years ago, 47th, 48th, 49th, and 50th, poorest and most uneducated. Tennessee moved up. City. But I don't just, know if you include nah, Tennessee. I, nah, yeah, I know, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, and I know Mississippi, and 50. Yeah, I'm just saying, I though, seen the list. they didn't drop down. Mississippi 50, Tennessee moved up to, like, 36. Okay, cool. Yeah. Still, nonetheless, yeah. there's 36 other, and okay, uh, and, uh, and still and Louisiana was 49. Okay, so the South, basically, yeah. we talking about the Bible yeah. Belt. Yeah, this, right that, there. That South section. There, But nonetheless, in Memphis, there were not so many, not enough, not a lot of money floating around, especially entertainment money, right. ball player money. Right. That shit is just now starting to happen. Right. And so uh, where you had in Atlanta, they had football players, ba- baseball been, players, been, basketball I've been players. Told, I've labels. been saying that on um, sports make the world go round. Yeah. If, yeah. if, if you got to, that's why LA so popping. They got three she NBA four, teams. Four, nigga. They got Who four. That? The Lakers, the Clippers, the Golden Spark. State, and Sacramento Kings. Oh no, nah, we ain't talking about California. I thought you, I, I, you, okay, you talking about Los Angeles? No, nah, cause California, they got, they got, they got, goddamn it, um, on. I, and I was just talking about, I was just talking about NBA. Yeah, they got football too. No, I was talking about, I was talking about LA, just LA specific yeah, 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 city. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got the Sparks, the Clippers, the Lakers. They got the Dodgers. They got the Angels. You know what I'm saying? The um, hockey, what, the Kings. Yeah, yeah, I about to say, the, yeah, yeah, the Kings. Yeah, the Kings. Yeah. yeah, so they got like six yeah. teams. Major. There's money all day. Do, 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 on stadiums and. Drink boys and popcorn girls and towel boys. Of jobs, and, a lot I'm talking of, about, ooh, this, this money, money just coming. Yeah. Just yeah. coming. That's why I, I, I really want us to get one. I'm talking bro. about, ooh. I really want us to catch that motherfucker. Yeah, the sport, one the sport, the sport, the sport I, I feel like the sports bring the money in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because now you got guaranteed millionaires yeah. staying in the city. All the time. Now we, we know and, for, and, we know for sure we got a nigga in Memphis with a two hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, yeah. And that's just the basketball. Yeah, that's what I'm that saying. That ain't even power aid. Right, that's what I'm just saying. <laughs> that ain't even Nike. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So we know this in our economy right now. Yeah. A nigga with that much power, how you monetary feel, how you right feel about Zah? How you feel about with you know the shit he going? <laughs> how you Man, feel, how'd he, you feel um, about that? He he shouldn't did no shit like okay. that. I don't feel like even no. I mean he strapped. Nigga strapped. Niggas be strapped, yeah. but. The Instagram thing was I ain't too far. I ain't uploading no guns and shit like that. Yeah. Like, you know. Especially after the beam wave at the right. prices. Yeah, the last that, thing you should have sold confirmed. was a pistol. Yeah. That confirmed, confirmed what y'all you had. You swinging that pistol around that motherfucker. Yeah. I but mean, I also say this too, though. Every time, uh, the first thing was first is that people got so horrified because they saw a black dude was a gun. First and foremost, this nigga ain't ain't worth two, three, four hundred million dollars and ain't legal with this pistol. Right. That's for one. Uh, why he said it wasn't here. Why y'all get because so it was ups, illegal. upset? It yeah. wasn't here. It wasn't here. Yeah. But I'm saying, though, if he, the, to, to, to jump to that conclusion. I believe he said that though, he ain't want that expensive because if he would have said that was his, then that would have confirmed that he flew with it with, on, on the, the plane. plane. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was yeah, going to knock his ass down. Yeah, now that was going to be 50 guys suspension out the me wreck. 
A nigga know what to say. Because <laughs> it ain't about what they say. It ain't what he said. Right. Listen to what he didn't say. <laughs> Man, for real. Nah, for real. Because I, 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 I was immediately worried about it because I heard about the, the pickup game. I was mad because, goddamn, he did it when I put my song out. Like, yeah, damn, come on, Memphis <laughs> win. No, listen, bro. Al Capone, we got to do the shit Saturday, you right? Tell but they had him on a couple of other dates here this month. And they called and canceled because he was like, bro, get ready because I'm filming this documentary. Right. So he was like, bro, get ready because we're going to be half court. We're going to be on the court and shit. Right. And folks called, the NBA called and said, hey, man, uh, that shit canceled. We ain't whooping no tricks around this motherfucker right, right now. Right. And, 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 and when they did that, it was like, he was like, damn, bro, I really want to say something to you because, you know, they – that you fucking my bag up right now. Right. I'm supposed to get three of these motherfuckers here right. <laughs> this month. Instead, I'm only getting one. You're fucking up the money. Right. But I just knew it was a bad thing. And then, you know, in that game, in that corporate world of what this nigga is, bro, them folks is not finna tolerate seeing no nigga with no fucking gun right. on the Instagram. And then you 23, you a young ass nigga. So many people and kids follow you like a motherfucker. And they already swinging guns and all this shit. And we telling them to stop doing that shit on the goddamn ground. Right. We telling them to stop it. And he does it. But he skated past that motherfucking 50 game suspension. He skied, man, he skated past that motherfucker, boy. I can't even tell you. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad. Yeah, I he, just got, he got he, an eight game with the six games. He missed count tours. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping that they, I, I think they may possibly bring him back Saturday. And this will drop after Saturday, yeah. so we're going to find out. Yeah. But I'm thinking that they're going to go on and bring him back. But you think if we catch one, one good championship, that's all it'll take for, for, for the other industries, like the music and the film. The film's already booming shit here. Right. Yeah, they they already, they're shit. already filming. Film something. been doing shit. They just do it like it's like the film industry. It's more low key than Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, they ain't gotta be all. Cause guess what? They already, they, they making the spotlight, so they ain't gotta shine. It. Mm -hmm. We, we, we know what we doing. Yeah, yeah, we. we. So, um, I mean, a championship be big for the city though. Yeah. Especially with all the shit going on. It'll, it's it'll coming, make, though. It'll sweep all that shit he did up under the rug. Yeah, they going to forget all it's that. All yeah, that. it's coming. It's coming because you can see how they have, uh, you know, rebuilt. They rebuilt the complete rebuilt downtown, how it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shit looks beautiful, you know, because uh, I shot a documentary for the head of tourism in Memphis, Kevin Kane, like 15, 20 years ago or some right. shit. And and it was a he was talking to the the board of Memphis and it was he's the head of tourism he basically owns Bill Street and he was saying that by the year twenty five twenty six they want to be able to bring the All Star Game and stuff but we don't have we didn't have enough hotels there's only a couple of hotels downtown mm -hmm. now there's plethora of them bitches you know what I'm saying because they're prepping up for us to be able to hold All Star Weekend mm -hmm. or the man can you imagine? That's why they be in all them parking garages and shit. Damn right. Because can you imagine, nigga, if if we if, if we make it to the playoffs again, if we make it to the finals, what Memphis would look like. We right. couldn't accommodate those people. And we're not gonna send them to Tunica because that defeats the fucking purpose. And they're gonna be going to jail. We don't want them to go across. They'll get down already go across the street. They Niggas gonna, gonna be drunk and high going. going jail, man. <laughs> Everybody man in yeah. hell coming to Memphis for the championship. Man, fucking with that mother. I'm telling me, man, I gotta go to Memphis, man, and go to fucking Tunica, nigga. Them police be waiting <laughs> on that nigga ass coming across well, that side. People come in town, go to the Arkansas, get locked up. Like, what man. was the biggest what was the biggest experience you had in um in in your journey in the music? Like the biggest situation scenario that you that'll never that'll never uh, leave your brain. It'll stay with you forever. Man, um, I don't know, cause cause um, the the shit I was gonna say it was the biggest at the time, but it was like you know like after I, you know uh, well I'm gonna just say it like um, when I met Tip. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that too. Yeah, when I met Tip. And you what know was that? What you saying? had you had a end of the contest or some shit or something. Um, no, nah, it was just a. Um, I mean, well, yeah, it was a contest. Um, but you got shit, a chance to perform. Yeah, the shit show. Um, I I really didn't know nothing about the show. My nigga put me on, and he was like, "Man, um, man, you gotta come to Atlanta. I got you on the show. Woo the woo. You know, it's gonna be some celebrities in the building. Mm -hmm. Woo the woo. So she, I just boom, I just took out, took off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, I got in that bitch, and uh, they never said T.I. would perform. They called me to the stage, and then they was like, hold on, we finna let our special guest perform first. Mm 
Mm. He just stayed right here. Yeah. And it was T.I., you know what I'm saying? And then, so T.I. performed, I'm right there, right there next to the stage mm -hmm. while he performing, you know what I'm saying? I shot it now. I'm like, Tip, I got my phone out. He come down, talk, mm -hmm. talking shit in my phone and shit. So boom, when he getting off the stage, I'm walking on the stage. So he coming down, I'm coming up. We shake hands, and when we shake hands, I'm like, don't leave, I'm finna kill this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he left because it's so packed in there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I really couldn't. Once I get on stage, I couldn't even see Nigga where the fuck out. he went. Nigga black you know out after that, yeah. So, you know, I get up there, man. I do my thing. Um, um, I met Carlo Miller that night, too. Um, boom. Um, I get a standing ovation in there, bitch. I rock that bitch. Yeah. I'm talking about I get a standing ovation. So I come off stage. So, it's you know, it's little bitches trying to take pictures and get my Instagram and, mm -hmm. You know, doing, I had, I really thought Tip had left. So boom, um, Big Bank, he like, I met Big Bank that night. Yeah. Big Bank like, come here, 21 Savage, want to meet you, you know what I'm saying? Boom, take me over there to 21 Savage, I shake his hand, yeah. take a selfie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom, I'm making my round, this nigga want to meet you, boom. You know, it's like, like to me, I was like, damn, I made it. You know what I'm saying? That was like, it was like, these stars want to meet me and take pictures with I, I made it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm finna be signed tomorrow. I'm finna, I'm finna be <laughs> it's up. It's so high. I'm finna be too. up 2, 3 a.m. Like, yeah, my life yeah, yeah. I'm finna be up. It's, it's, it's over different. with. After tonight, it's yeah, over it's with. It's over with. So, boom. Yeah. So, boom. I'm in the high. I mean, now we like in the lobby area of the building. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers still want to take pictures. Like, man, you killed this shit. Like, I know I killed it because after I got through performing, they told me to come back on stage and they wanted me to do an a cappella. You know what I'm saying? Like I got the foot, I got the foot yeah, in and all that. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I go back up there, do an acapella, boom. They like, man, this shit so hard. So boom, I see Tiny. So I'm like, damn, Tiny, let me take a picture. You know what I'm saying? My girl, she love you. She stay watching Tiny and toy your show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She'll be happy. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take a picture with her. Yeah. Here come Tip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he come straight up. He yeah. want to get all in the picture and shit, which yeah. I was cool. Cool, fuck, fuck it. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, take the picture. Boom. So, boom, we take picture. Boom. So now, you know, people want, you know, people want to take picture with him. And people still take a picture with me. People, yeah, Because oh, then that. once they see you taking pictures yeah, with them, now yeah. it just make them so want to give you two more. People are already waiting to take a picture. Yeah. They want my Instagram. And, yeah. and I'm, I see tiny, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. So then Till was like, um. He was like, man, if you ain't leave your information with nobody here tonight, you bullshitting. That's what he told me, you know what I'm saying? I was like, shit, I want to leave my information with you. I'm telling you. You know what I'm mean? saying? So, boom, he had a nigga with him. He was like, um, man, get, get his number. Woo -de -woo, woo -de -woo. Call me. Woo -de -woo, woo -de -woo. So, instantly, I get the phone, and I called my phone from the phone. Right. So, I knew I had the right, right number, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Smart. So, so, boom, I instantly say the number, you know what I'm saying? Shake his hand. Yeah. I'm back doing my shit, right. you know what I'm saying? So boom, we end up going to the studio or whatever. Boom, next day I sent the number, some song, like boom, I met y'all last night. You know what I'm saying? Tip told me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Woo -woo. So I sent three, four songs over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So boom, they like, uh, you know, uh, to me it was like everything was cool to I was like, you know, you could just feel the energy change, even through text messages. Yeah. You could feel the energy yeah, shift. Yeah, you can. And they were like, uh, where you from? I was like, Memphis. And then they were like, oh, we thought you were from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, nah, I could be in Atlanta whenever I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll be Trying to, you know what I'm saying? Make it like mm -hmm. it ain't no. I'm still here. Oh, yeah, right. right I'm right. still here. Do I need what I need to do before I leave? Mine, ain't it mine. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, you know. So it was kind of like that. I was calling. I'll stay if you need me to. Yeah, you see, let me know. Currently sending songs and shit, you know. Like, like, nigga, I know this shit hard. Like, nigga, like, nigga, and I, and I, and I, and it made me feel some way, cause I was like, man, he went out his way to come and tell me how hard I was. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't go to him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't run up to Ti. Like, what you think? Yeah. He came to me. Like, yeah. nigga, you the truth. Like, nigga, if you ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So boom. So, 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 you know, I still got to know. I still was sending yeah, music, now, music to the shit. song. Um, I made drum boy that night too. Got yeah. his number. I said I sent drum boy songs and shit yeah. every now and then. Shout out drum boy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I seen he was sick, had COVID. I text him, you know, be home and get better. Yeah. You know, just try to be a relationship. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, so um, you fast forward to the uh, situation with Juicy. I'm at the video shoot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, boom. I see Tip. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And he really just like burst it out like. 
Like, I ain't, I don't need writing that. Like, which mm. I can respect it because this ain't the time and place for it. But Correct. She, I need answers. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to change my life, my family life, I my kid this, life. I, I, like, so can, I don't yeah. know how important this is to you. Right, but, but this is life changing for me. Yeah, so it was like, so. But you, you know, know. The, the thing has always been uh, almost kind of like the check in thing. Yeah. But it, them niggas in the A, when it comes to fucking with Memphis niggas, right. there's a reason why Gucci be signing Memphis niggas. Right. He be signing, he be, he be pissing dude off. Right. He be pissing dude off. Right. But dude got relationships with all these other ones. Right. If they gonna get him, before him it was 3-6 doing it. Right. Nobody would touch a Memphis artist. Right. When we was in Def Jam and Rockefeller and this is right. that, when they got to busting them phone calls and you get to talking about gatekeepers and shit, they gonna pass, they, it's gonna go over there. If they don't fuck with it, nobody else will. Right. If you're not gonna fuck with it, let them get it. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But niggas will be like, hey, man, you know, he, nigga probably jumped on the phone was like, hey, yo, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I'm looking at this. I'm doing this right now. But that's always been the thing for Memphis. It ain't right. like Atlanta so open and right. a bunch of niggas can get signed and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, that shit made me feel. But then it also was like a big motivator. Like I, I got in my bag after that, like, because mm -hmm. I knew, like, a nigga who I respect with the pen told me I was hard. I told you you was hard. So it, like, it made me feel like, Little bro up the street who say my shit ain't bombing. You, you, you ain't talking about him. You ain't talking about shit. Cause I know a nigga who done went platinum off this shit. And he Most went out his way. Millions and millions and millions. That's the, the biggest thing of it all. He went out his way. Mm -hmm. This nigga up there. Not me running up saying, hey, can yeah, I get a Yeah, this picture? nigga up there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And shout out Hunter Kong Brazier too. That's another nigga of mine so, who, so. who went out his way. You know what I'm saying? That nigga FaceTime me one day just like, man, bro, you hard. Yeah. Dude, before he went to the pen, you know what I'm saying? And then we still chopped it up. We still be chopping it up in the, while he in the pen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. He reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? Just are like, very just like nigga, boy. you hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But you know, like, you know, I just feel like when when, it, when my time comes, this shit gonna be yeah. way or worse. Whatever you do, don't change your formula. Mm -hmm. Adjust your formula. Do right. the Darrow, Money Casserole, right. Mac Darrow, do that. Right. Right. Because when they grab it, and they will grab it, my nigga, right. on that level. When they grab it on that level, everything back to what we were talking about, how you could have been on God did and all this other shit, right. it changes at that moment. Right. M once you get into that room, right. why ain't it be like, oh, this nigga finna hop on the record? Let's see what you gonna do, nigga. And right. I'm finna burn your ass. Just right. like you pump, you might think you finna burn me, but I, I'm not finna be no hoe on her, right. though. Right. Right. You feel me? And then it will go from there. And you could be in a room that one time, and them people would be like, yo, it's the greatest shit. This nigga's the hardest nigga. Right. And all it took was just that one thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've always kept up. So when I saw shit like that, matter of fact, it was a lot of a lot of shit. I'd be like, Jamie, I seen that already. <laughs> Jamie, be, right. he be sending that shit to yeah. me, fool. But I'm like, nigga, I yeah. follow my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I don't be tripping because I be looking and be like, yo, and I said this so many times. I was like, yo, when I saw the Billboard thing, yeah. I was like, yeah, bro, finna get ready to be up at this bitch. Right. The Billboard thing was after the T. No, it was before the T.I. thing. No, that was, was after the T.I. thing. But I'm just saying, though, here you go see that, then you see the Billboard. And I was like, my nigga, right. he on the right path because that's what you got to do. No Memphis nigga, no other nigga thought of that. Right. Memphis, Atlanta, New York, right. LA. No, I've never seen nobody do right. no shit. I don't like seen people before. do it since me. No, I, of course. Yeah, I seen the business. They got a. They, I, done, I, done had, I done had a couple artists hit me up like, man, I'm finna steal your shit, man. Bro, you now know everybody, saying? everybody, they, they do the billboard things. I laugh at it. Now yeah. I be like, y'all niggas late. I, I, I don't be. It ain't fucked up. But you know what I'm saying? It ain't fucked up. But I, I take it. I tell you like this. I used to think people st stole shit from me, like. When I had the motion graphics on the beginning of my videos and shit, nobody was doing that. Right. So I used to get mad when I see niggas doing it. I'd be right. like, fucking niggas copying me. But right. then uh, an OG told me, you looking at it wrong way, young right. nigga. You motivated them. You inspired them. Right. Just like when you first started making beats, right. when you copying Dr. Dre and Timberland, right. they would have been like, this fuck nigga copy. No, they was like, right. I inspired this young nigga. Right. Cause you only felt like they inspired you, so they only felt. And matter of fact, who who do we copy or emulate? Right. 
the greats. Right. I ain't out there trying to be Craig Elo. Right. We trying to be Michael Jordan. Right. We trying to be Danny Ainge. We ain't trying to be Clyde. We right. ain't trying to be no. We trying to be Michael we ain't Jordan. To be Clyde the Glad. You know what I'm saying? Even though Clyde great, no Clyde was great, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying niggas is to me Clyde the great. If you were emulating Clyde Drexler. He still was a great. Yeah. So you're emulating the greats. You're not, I, I, matter of fact, let me take that back because I said that like <laughs> Drexler was Craig Elo or somebody. You emulating the great. You watching someone great. He never made Jordan net because none of them niggas was dead. None of them niggas was dead. They were good. They were great. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clyde the Glide was that nigga. Then Jordan came and then, yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't this really nigga. <laughs> but, cause when, yeah, because when Jordan came, he gave a new definition. To glide. To glide, man. Nigga and walking on earth. They call that nigga earnest. You know, they call that nigga by earnest. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that shit is insane. I'm just saying, Michael Jordan did that. And I, I've yet to see LeBron have done some amazing yeah, things. Yeah, there's a nigga dunking, but that ain't earnest. 